Okay guys, part of the truth and advertising campaign. So, we have a field here and I think you can uh, see we have a pretty good weed density out there. So we're on fertile bottom ground. And we have our beautiful morning glory. And unfortunately, we are at about day 24 now and this field has never had a cultivation. And so what we are doing is cleaning up the morning glory. So, this was planted at the tail end of that dry time. There's where I've already gone. And uh, yes, it's cleaning it up perfectly. So how do I take a mess like that and clean it up perfectly? Well, first of all, we had the correct planting interval here. Uh, it was bone dry. I planted deep and I planted into moisture. I did rotary hoe this. Uh, we had a seven day interval after planting and so the crop had the entire jump. Well, between now and then we had our crazy, I don't know, nine inches of rain. Uh, that would have been last week, a week ago. Uh, but these weeds started, we had a half inch rain on it someday in there. I cannot remember. But what we are doing here is, oh look at that, our trusty lieutenant is coming. Come on, Lieutenant Dan. Hop in, Lieutenant Dan. We're making a film. Yeah. Now that was not nice. You put that there. I did not put that there. Get a rag, don't touch anything else. Get a rag out of the toolbox and wipe what it off. Why'd you push me? So anyway, back to the story. Let's shut off the tractor so we can hear what the story is. We'll let Lieutenant Dan get the molly grease off of him. I'm not Dan. So, the reason the Lieutenant is here is because, yes, we are having to clean Morning Glory off of the cultivator. Uh, the ground is still just wet with moisture. Give me the rag, Jet. I'll wipe. Give me the rag, I'll wipe. The ground is still just lousy with moisture from our crazy rainfall event. I did start cultivating yesterday on the hills. Today I'm working on the bottoms. But anyway, back to this field. It had one rotary hoe pass that reset the weed clock. Uh, there's no weed out here that started growing before the beans. Uh, there's no weed that started growing within seven days of the beans. And they got a perfect start. And so we have the uh, heavy toolbar Danish Tine cultivator. And it's what I call my aggressive first pass. Uh, no rolling shields and we're just piddling along and we have our speed set relatively slow and uh, I'll show you a little bit running here and what we're watching. So when we're moving an insane amount of dirt like this on plants that have never had dirt moved on them, our speed is relatively slow, our depth is relatively very deep, uh, probably running a good three and a half inches and there's what it is doing to the field. It is just cleaning it up as nice as can be. Dang it, Jet, there's some volunteer corn. What about that was sorghum? No, not sorghum. This was a cornfield last year. Well, it looks the same. Are you watching for plugs, Jet? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that is the view from the cab. And it's just cleaning it up as nice as can be. So what does look like an entire weedy disaster there is really not a weedy disaster at all. The morning glory is just starting to branch out and so some of it is catching on the cultivator and we'll do around here and then we'll have to clean off the cultivator. Uh, if the soil was drier and flowing better, we would not have to clean off the cultivator. So I just want to show you real quick the amount of residue on the cultivator. And there is Lieutenant Dan cleaning it off a little bit. We do about two rounds and then he cleans it off. So the last pro tip I want to mention here is when you come to this end row, you cultivate through number row number six here on the end row and you in effect will have a grid pattern. See there's where it went on that pass and I came through there and I will have a grid pattern. At the end of the year, you will not even know the cultivator was here because every little grid check of soybeans will thrive. 
and all of the morning glories are dead. Thanks. Now we're rolling. So we had to take a little break there. Our little three acre field is gonna take me about four hours because I had to go spend two hours unplugging the leg. There's unloading wheat and the leg plug. So we're trying to run 10 different ways at once. That cool wet period really put a crimp in our work. And so now we're trying to cultivate combine wheat. Obviously Claire's unloading wheat. Uh, we've got cover crops to do, straw to bale. It's just, uh, it's a race, a race to do everything. So. You come back in a week, guys, and this field here will be perfectly, perfectly clean.